welcome to a very special evening. Its fundamental purpose is to celebrate the innovative achievements by outstanding scientists early in their careers. I'd like to thank the founder of the Blavatnik Awards, the chairman of the Blavatnik Family Foundation, Sir Leonard Blavatnik. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the laureates and finalists of the 2018 inaugural Blavatnik Awards for Young Scientists. From the University of Oxford, the 2018 Blavatnik Awards Laureate in Chemistry, Professor Andrew Goodwin. Andrew is without a doubt already regarded as a world leader and a pioneer in the study of structural disorder and mechanical flexibility and its role in controlling the chemistry, physics and geophysics of functional materials. Here we are in these incredible surrounds, in the presence of so many of my heroes, and at what is a, a really critical time in my scientific career. If crystallography only works when atoms are arranged in repeating patterns, are we as materials chemists fundamentally biased towards order? What happens if we try to design materials whose arrangements never repeat? These patterns are quite strange. While they never repeat, they're certainly not random. So it's really an exciting time as we start to learn how to exploit these systems to address a range of long-standing and important challenges. We're looking, for instance, into turning waste heat into usable electricity, making new and efficient batteries, storing data securely, and even starting to think about manipulating light for cloaking devices. <laughs> It is my great honour to welcome to the stage the 2018 Blavatnik Laureate in Physical Sciences and Engineering, Professor Henry Snaith, recognised for developing new, low-cost, high-efficiency photovoltaic devices and technologies based on metal halide perovskite materials. Henry's work will, I'm certain, help propel human society to a sustainable future. Solar or sunlight is, is the most abundant source of power on planet Earth. It actually drives most processes on Earth. And we only have to capture a very small amount of that to turn it into electricity to meet all our power demands. Perovskites are efficient, they're, they should be cheap, and they're stable. What has really excited the research community isn't just that these materials are cheap, but it's actually the rate at which they've accelerated in efficiency. So when we first published our first paper, we were only at 10.9% efficiency, and we've already got up to around 23% efficiency. But we've predicted that with relatively little effort, probably five years of hard work, we'll get up to 37% efficiency. To keep this curve going, we need to keep the efficiency increasing. And we don't just need to match the cost of coal or gas, we need to significantly undercut it. So it is impossible not to install all new capacity with photovoltaics. The 2018 Blavatnik Laureate in Life Sciences is at the forefront of a new breed of biologists. Madame Babu is a big data information scientist with additional expertise in structural biology and with a deep knowledge of the molecular logic of proteins. Throughout the history of science, progress, both big and small, has been made by people questioning some of the most fundamental and basic ideas. So it is important to challenge conventional wisdom, give opportunities to new ideas, stay open-minded, and avoid preconceptions based on existing data in order to be able to push the boundaries of knowledge even in minor ways. So what we do in my group is to employ an interdisciplinary approach that integrates concepts from data science, genomics, structural biology, to understand how organisms function at different levels of complexity with a special emphasis on proteins. 
We are developing a combined high-throughput experimental and computational approach that exploits recent advances in machine learning to discover functional disordered regions and to understand the rules that makes them functional. We are living in an exciting time with access to unprecedented amounts of biological information and data, and we would like to use this unique opportunity to develop new approaches to better understand how living systems work. It's a really nice change to see people rewarded early in their career when they have many great things ahead of them. To the prize winners, I say, just sort of enjoy it. It's a validation of your work. It's a, it, it shows you that your peers think really well of you. And you should think of it as a, as a vote to spur you on and to bigger and better things. Let's do a toast to science. To science. To science.